Hello besties. Welcome back to the channel, my beautiful G squad. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are going to be doing my nails to match the rock you saw on the way into this video at the beginning before I started talking. Um in the 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 rock is called cobaltoin calcite, I think. I will put what it's called in the description. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to recreate it. I just knew it had to happen and I knew it couldn't be on a fake hand or on tips. It had to be on me. So um, I've been hanging on to this for a couple of weeks now and it was time. So what I'm going to do is the plastic bag technique. And as you can see, I've formed up my hands and I'm doing my uh, putting on all my prep products. I've already prepped. I removed the, the previous set and I prepped my nail beds and we are just going in and hitting it with some prep and prime. And then we are going to use the light elegance base coat. Uh, not the base. It's the the thinner base coat, the tack. I'm going to use tack. Uh, since I've started using it, um, I have really enjoyed using it. I don't have any lifting with it. Um, so I, I, I'm just going to continue to work with it. Um, and so far, all the products I've used it with, it's been great. So I've used it a lot with, of course, the Light Elegance, but, um, and this is going to be my first time with the Joya Mia, which is the poly gel we're working with today. Um, and then we're going to top it with Builder Gel, but we'll get to that. I am not going to continue with this brush much longer. This brush is an acrylic brush, which is the way I normally like to do my poly gel. But it didn't occur to me when I'm doing um, a layer this thin, which I do really want to keep it thin, um, that those bristles were, the amount of pressure I have to put on those bris bristles were really disrupting the form. So I decided, nah, let me put this to the side. And that's going to happen here real soon. And I grab one of the poly gel brushes that I usually use for builder gel, but I just cleaned it off really fast and um, loaded it with some alcohol and away we go. And here, here it comes. There we go, I'm cleaning it off. And now we're ready. And now I'm just gonna come in and shape the nail I want. Um, this nail in particular, I'm unhappy with the shape and you'll see at the end. Um, and I pinched and pinched and pinched those forms together. Um, that finger always is a little fat. So I have just got to remember that one really does need to actually be pinched. And I should have pinched it with the pinching tool, but I didn't. And there you go. Um, <laughs> the other ones, the shaping on them are perfectly fine. I'm really happy with them. But I just feel like if I had gotten that form just the tiniest bit skinnier, I'd have been happier with that nail. But it's my non-dom and my, um, my skills as a nail artist are growing always. And it's never going to be perfect because there's always room for improvement and I just accept that. So even though, honestly, I almost took it off. Okay, here we come with the plastic. I'm just setting it on there gentle and coming in with this cuticle tool. And just like in the rock, the rock was rough, right? It's a rough cut. It's not like smooth. So I'm just making those cuts in there. I didn't want it to be as much wrinkles as like actual little places where the tools would have cut it. So that's what I'm trying to create. I think in the end, I'm pretty pleased with the effect that I created. And now we're going to remove those and take off the forms so you can see how they came out. Now, the, I'm not gonna show you all five of the nails like that because it's the same exact process five times. You don't wanna see that. 
So now that they're all done, I am going to do it exactly the same way as the rock is laid out. Gold on the outside, then the white, and then the middle finger will be purple, which is my favorite color. Purple's my color. That's why I always dye my hair purple. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. That's okay, I'm weird, and that's why you're here, because we're all weirdlings together. Um, I do want to mention, I know I've got a bruise on my arm. I don't know what's going on there. Normally, the bruises are from Jake, because he and I play rough. Now, I'm just going to marble a little, and not a ton, okay? If you look at the rock, if you pause the video at the rock and really look at it, it's like they're layers, right? Uh, to me, it looks like the most amazing chocolate chip blueberry ice cream sandwich, right? And so that's, if you see, the, the gold has a lot of black in it and little bits of stuff from the side of the white. Um, and the purple has a little white in it and the white has a little gray in it. So um, I, that's what I'm gonna try to mimic to the best of my ability is just, I really want the nails to look like the rocks. And honestly, I feel like I need to make ice cream sandwiches like that. Really thin chocolate chip cookies, not too crispy, ice cream, and then some sort of blueberry sorbet or something in the middle. Tell me that doesn't sound divine. I, I think it does. And honestly, you could even make the vanilla ice cream like lemon or something. I love blueberry lemon. It's one of my favorite things ever. So we're just marbling, just marbling away, adding a little of this and that. We did some gray. We did some white. We're doing some black here just to really give you that flavor that you get from that actual stone. I'm so inspired by doing things that look like real stone. Now on the white nail, what I'm gonna do is come on the side that, that would touch that chocolate chip cookie side. Um, <laughs> I'm bringing in the gray and we're gonna go down the side with the gray and now with a separate brush, I'm coming in with the white and we're gonna paint the rest of the nail white and then we are gonna do a rough ombre, um, which honestly, I'm gonna tell you, the, the, the roughness of the nail made ombreing it so easy. It, they just blended together perfectly. And I didn't want a perfect blend, I just wanted it to look like they sort of mixed together, but they blended even better than I expected them to. My dog really wants my attention for some reason. I'm not opening that door right now because you'll go out there and bark, honey. And I'm talking to our besties. Okay, can you wait just a few minutes, please? Thank you. Oh my goodness. He loves, when he wants my attention, he wants my attention. And um, normally he just gets it because he's my baby boy and I love him to death. Now I'm coming in with my ombre brush and I'm just sort of, circling and flicking and rubbing. I, I'm not trying to do a perfect ombre. I just want it to be a little together. Now I'm just coming in with a tiny bit of the gold that I made the other nail with, and we're gonna come back in and add a tiny bit of black here and there. But the black I'm using there is the Born Pretty, and it's not true, true hard black. It's more like a sheer black, like a soft black. And on the other side, I'm gonna grab a little of the purple. Cause if you, if you look at the rock, there's a couple spots where some of the purple just comes into the white the tiniest bit. And that's a little vein of that into the white. I really enjoy that. I think it came out great. And now we're gonna make the purple nail. And that's all I'm gonna make you watch the last two nails are exactly the same as the white nail and the gold nail. So this video is so long already, I, I'm not gonna force you to do that. Sweetie, mommy can't play with you right now, I'm sorry. Bring me a ball. 
He's so cute. I love him so much. We just got up a little while ago, so he is ready to play. And I guess I should have played with him before I started this little project. But we've only got a few more minutes. He can wait just a few more minutes. He is such a cutie. Um, I'll put a picture of him at the end of the video so you guys can see how awesome he is. He's so, he's, oh, he's my whole heart. Um, now we're just, I'm coming in and making sure that there's no serious, like, little wells of polish where it won't cure correctly. And I really want those facets to show. I don't want those to be filled up. Now, in the purple on the picture, there is like a stripe of the white going through. So that's what we're doing here. I'm gonna grab just a little more and I think I'm happy, guys. Oh, look at that. That's what I wanted. Now we are gonna go in with some chrome because they really want to give it that I am gemstones shine, right? And because it's on white and purple and gold, it's not going to give you, because this is the silver one. And on, look at how silver it gets on the gray. Ah, oh, it's giving me so much life right now. But it's just giving you that glow from within gemstone thing, right? So, and the thing about the chrome pigments is that they, if you have a bump in your nail, they exaggerate it. And so that's the quality that I'm going for in this. I want to look like my nails are tipped with rocks. And I think, I think oh, we got it. I think we achieved it. Now I'm just going to show the one encapsulation because again, you've seen me encapsulate only a billion times. And trust me, that's about to come up. I think we're going to do Witch Bath Nails Take Two because we did those last year, but I've got some, some thoughts, I think maybe on what I'd like to do different. And, um, I really like witches. So, and it might not be witch bath nails, but something witchy. We're gonna do something witchy. And I'm just making sure I've got enough gel, because that is a thinner gel. The, the gel we're using is the E-Nail Couture, and it's a little thinner, which does make it easy to go down. That's 100% that's true. But it's harder to get a big bead of it on a tiny brush like this, so. I needed to grab a couple and then we're just going to finish off the nail make sure it's nice and smooth on the sides hold it upside down and pop her in the lamp now i'm showing you the areas where when i filed i probably filed off a little color we're going to fill those in and then i am going to go over it with the chrome pigment in those areas because it's you want them all to match, right? I don't want any area that doesn't look like it matches the rest of the rock, right? In the glowy iridescentness of it. I'm mean, having a hard time holding my hand that way and staying under the lamp to do the work. So I know you home nail vloggers are going to, um, Feel me on that one. It's hard. If you're doing a client, you can just move their hand, right? You're just, you're, you're at the same place. But when you're doing it yourself, it's a little, I decided to do a chunk of white there. Um, and I add some purple and it oh. ends up being a little bit pinky. Hey, no. Hey. So I, I was on the fence about how it looked at first, but the more I live with the nails, the more I'm like, you know what? I don't hate it. Uh, that pulling out thing was just the uh, <laughs> pulling out thing. The camera pulling out was just my oh. editing program being silly. And that was my chair. If you heard that, I swear, that was my chair. It wasn't my body creaking. My chair creaks. Okay, <laughs> so I filled in all the areas. I hit them with some chrome. And now it's time for some time top coat. Oh my goodness. I needed something to put this on and I should have grabbed something cuter than a roll of tape that needs to be 
replenished. I've almost used it up. And again, this is just my crappy editing program being crappy. Oh, it's crappy. It's not snappy. Oh, it's crappy. Yeah. And there was your cheese ball moment of the week. Uh, please, let's keep it real. That's only the first of many. First of many. <laughs> oh, the purple. Oh, the purple. Oh, my goodness. I love how these are shining. I'm really upset that this didn't... I'm going to try to fix it. So if you're like, what are you talking about, Gigi? Just know I fixed it. If you're like, yeah, that's a bummer, girl. Then you know it, it didn't fix. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try really hard to... Because I still have to come in and put this voiceover in. So I've got one last shot to try to get it in there correct. And here we go with the thumbnail. Oh, look, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love this set, you guys. I'm so pleased. There is a sort of see-through quality to them, which also, I think, adds to that. I'm a beautiful gemstone quality. So if you didn't want that, you would definitely want to do two coats of whatever polish you used. But I kind of like the idea of it being a little transparent. And here we go. This is the finished set, you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you liked it. And while you're down there, do all the things that you know help this channel grow. Be sure, be sure to let me know which nail is your favorite because you know there's always one you like the best. Stick around because there are going to be a couple of reveal shots. And we will see you on Wednesday for something a little more Halloween-y. Thanks so much again for coming by. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.